In today's video, we're gonna talk about what's the best size reel for inshore saltwater fishing. This is a question that comes in all the time, and it's a very important question as well. For, for most of us saltwater anglers, we get it totally wrong. I did this personally where I spent way more money than I should have while getting worse performance than I otherwise could have simply by choosing a reel that was too big. Most people go too big, they go bigger than they need to because we think, hey, okay, what if we hook into an overslot snook or an overslot redfish while we're, while we're targeting trout on the flats? And so what I would do is I'll go out and I would get 4,000 size reels, like just expensive 4,000 size reels for trout fishing, and that's simply not needed. And not only that, it actually hinders the ability for trout fishing because the more weight that we shed from our overall systems, from overall rods and reels, the lighter the weight, the more we're gonna be able to feel everything, whether we're talking about the lighter line, lighter rod, lighter reel, we need to do all that we can to shed the weight down as much as we can, but we also need to make sure that we can handle the fish that we're targeting as well as some of the, the bigger ones that come by. And what I found is that these little 2,500 size reels are shockingly good for inshore fishing. First of all, they're super lightweight and assuming you're using braid, which I highly, highly recommend, is they hold more than enough line that's needed. This reel in particular is the Daiwa Fuego, and I'll talk about some other brands down here as well. Please know that we don't accept sponsorships from any brands, and so I welcome any feedback down below from, uh, from what I talked about. If I miss anything, you know, please, please let us know. This is all about just anglers helping anglers. But this 2,500 size Fuego, this holds for 10 pound braid that I use most of all, this holds over 200 yards of that braid, that's more than enough. Even if I go up to 15 pound braid, this still holds, I believe it's 180 yards. And no matter what size snook or redfish you hook into, it's not gonna pull out 180 yards of line. That is a ton of line. So we have more than enough line in this little small, lightweight, very smooth reel. And what I found is my performance has just steadily increased as I started with the 4,000s and eventually moved down to a 3,000 and now finally landed on this 2,500. This has been the size that I like most of all. I did go ahead and get a 1000 to test that out. And, and obviously it works. I have caught some slot size snook uh, with, uh, with this, this very small reel, so it certainly can handle them. What I found though is this 2500 size just seems to be the, the best overall value where you can have a great lightweight experience. You can have plenty of line, plenty of drag. And really what sets it apart most of all is the fact that this has a much faster line retrieve. This has about 35 inches if I remember right. And this is, this is much less. It's just simply cannot retrieve line fast enough. Or if I'm, if I might have my, my lure halfway out and I see a strike way off to the right, I want to be able to quickly reel in my lure and get it out there as quickly as possible. So these little high speed 2500s have just been awesome. But before you rely on a 2500 size, please know that different brands have different sizings even within a brand has different sizings which really drives me crazy there's not there's not a set size rate so here are these these are actually both Daiwa reels this is the BG this is the Fuego and as you can see this BG is just flat out bigger it has a, a more diameter on the reel even looking at the body is different and this is obviously much heavier so unfortunately we can't go from the number itself what we need to go by is the actual line specifications that's when everything can be compared at the most proper way. So what I'll do is I'll put the specs of this reel that I've at least I've at least had the best performance with. I'll put the, the, the amount of line it holds, plus the drag capacity, plus the inches per turn. And that way you can compare from other reels. So I've used this Pin Battle 2, that's been awesome. We have a Florida Fishing Products down here. Again, these are all 2,500 size reels that are all, uh, I would say appropriately uh, assigned 2,500. So what about the 3,000 size reels, right? Or, or even 4,000, when should those come into play? In my opinion, the 3000s need to be more of a setup for, for targeting bigger fish that's close to structure and or strong current. So for dock fishing, I've been doing a lot of dock fishing lately where I'm skipping lures up under the docks with a, with a high likelihood of catching some upper slot and over slot redfish and snook. That's when I go to the 3000 size reel, right? Before I would use a 4000, now I'm using this 3000 with 20 pound braid and this has been more than enough to handle some big fish. I even take this out on the reefs I've been catching keeper cobia, I've been catching keeper grouper. This, this small lightweight reel can certainly pack a punch, but when you're going up to this size reel, you need to be using at least a 20 pound braid. And for fishing tight to structure, especially for bigger fish, that's when you need to go to a reel that has a metal frame. So this is an aluminum body frame. This is the BGMQ, which is my personal favorite at this point for doing some, some, uh, some fishing where I need some more power. This 3000 BGMQ aluminum frame reel has been awesome. The reason why I don't mind so much the non-metal frame reels for the lighter, lighter tackle is that we just flat out don't need it, right? For a 10 or 15 pound braid, if you have the drag set properly, it's only set at, it needs to be set at about 20 to 30 pounds of, of the line strength. 
So we're just talking, you know, two to three pounds of drag. That's just simply not gonna be enough to make this reel underperform. It won't be contorting, it'll, it'll, it'll feel super smooth, it'll feel rock solid. Where you don't wanna be using the composite is, as I mentioned before, when you're fishing bigger fish, tight to structure, that's when the aluminum bodies, or the, at least the metal frames, are very much needed. So what I'll do is I'll put the, the specs of this one. This has been my personal favorite so far. I'll put the specs down below so you can see how much line it holds, the inches per turn, all that fun stuff. And you can, can kind of go shop around from different brands and find something comparable. So that's the overview of, of the testing I've done so far on, on what I found. If you found anything different or if I missed anything, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I will not be offended. I just wanted to kick off this video to at least start the conversation. So that's the top level overview of what I've found so far for, for real sizes on inshore fishing, right? If you're using lightweight line, 15 pounds or less, these lightweight 2,500 size reels have been awesome. They are just great. They have high performance while still having the power to handle big fish. But if, you're, if you need more power, that's when you need to go with a little bit heavier reels in the metal frames to make sure that you're ready for those really big fish. So if you heard anything you didn't agree with or if I missed anything, please leave a comment down below. I will not be offended. I really just wanted to start this just to kick off the conversation. Just, just leave a comment down below. We make sure to read all of them and we will not take anything down, right? We're not sponsored by any real companies. We don't accept sponsorships from really any company for that matter. So we'd love to hear what your favorite reels or your least favorite reels are. We're on a continual quest just to find the best gear to make sure that we just maximize our results without overspending. And so I just hope this video can be a start to that. I personally wish I would have known that I could go with these less expensive lightweight reels for most inshore fishing needs because for many years I was just overspending and getting just too heavy stuff. And if you're in need of reels, as I mentioned before, I'll put the specs down to some of my favorites down below. And just so you know, we got more reels into our shop as well. We have some pins, we have some 13 fishing, so we have some really cool stuff. And just so you know, as an Insider Club member, as long as you're logged in when you place an order for any of these reels from fishstrong.com, we'll actually give you free line, we'll spool it for you, and we'll give free shipping as a thank you for being an Insider Club member. So thank you so much for your time and watching. Any questions or feedback, use the comment section down below. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.